Hello, good morning to all of you. <coughs> Today we are going to discuss uh, this fundamental unit of life in continuation. And uh, today we will especially discuss about uh, structure, shape, and size of uh, different type of cell. As you can see, the structure of prokaryotic cell. It is the structure of prokaryotic cell. Here these are flagella. This cell wall, nucleide, plasma lemma, mesosome, fibrillary, ribosome. This one the structure of prokaryotic cell. That is a bacteria. The about its characteristic, uh, whenever we have uh, compare or we have compared between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell, and uh, we have taken five characteristic feature. Those are are the characteristic feature of this uh, bacteria. Next, uh, various cells from the human body. These are the various cells. Today we will discuss, or uh, I may say, you can write, uh, you should write, what is the basis or uh, what are the different structure of the cell. Actually, mainly cell structure depends upon its function they perform. These are various human cells. It is a smooth muscle, it is a human sperm, it is a nerve cell, it is a blood cells, it is a bone cells, ovum, fat cells. The, on the basis of function, its a structure is there. The, whenever we talk about the shape and size of cell, the first point uh, you should note down. Whenever uh, you are watching, you watch this video, you must keep your pen and paper. In the first point, the shape and size of cells vary considerably, but all of these are ultimately determined by a specific function of the cell. Means uh, its shape depends uh, mainly on function of the cell. Second point uh, you should note down. Some cells can change their shape like amoeba and white blood cells. While most of the plant cell and animal cells have almost fixed shapes. Next point, cells with fixed shape, here it is given in the figure, can be polygonal, a spherical as you can see in ovum, elliptical as you can see in fat cells, a spindle shaped in a smooth muscle. A spindle means um, both sides, both end are narrow and uh, middle is broader. Such a shape is called a spindle shape. Cuboidal as germ cells, astrolate that is a bone cell and knobbed uh, thread that is a sperm, human sperm. Human RBC are biconcave, disc shaped. Nerve cells are elongated thread like. This elongated thread like because it has to carry message from sense organ to the uh, brain and spinal cord. Therefore, such a structure is there. We have uh, discussed that. Uh, Mainly, shape of the cell depends upon what type of function they perform. Next point, some of the cells can be seen with naked eye. For example, egg of reptiles and birds and jute fiber. Without help of microscope, we can see these cells. But a great majority of cells are too small to be seen with naked eye. They can be seen only through microscope. We should know mycoplasma, a smallest cell is mycoplasma that is also called pleuronemonia like organism. Largest cell is ostrich egg, longest animal cell is nerve cell. The cell size remains constant for a particular cell and is independent of the size of the organism. Again, I am repeating this. 
the cell size remains constant for a particular cell and is independent of the size of the organism the size of the organism is uh, dependent upon the number of cells and not on the size of the cells the cells of an elephant are not necessarily larger than those of tiny animals like rats or plants their uh, elephant size is very big you should not you should uh, know here bigger size not uh, directly related to uh, cell size size of cell will be same whether it is a rat or whether it is a elephant the elephant is larger due to large number of cells and rat is smaller due to less number of cells thanks thanks a lot for today and next day we will go through the